Good morning, folks. Welcome to Randy Shaves this morning for a Wednesday morning shave. Got a couple of things to show you this morning, a couple of new things that I've uh, received. Uh, first, I've got a strike gold shave. You know, they had a, I don't, and I don't think they still do this, but they had a Patriot series where they had different presidents featured. And today I have Clinton. Oh, Bill Clinton. I've got his soap and his uh, aftershave splash. And um, it's really a nice smelling soap. All of their uh, soaps in this Patriot series uh, seem to be really, really nice. I've got this one. I've got Mount Rushmore. Uh, what else have I got? I've got FDR on the way. And uh, I like those. I really do. Uh, the scent notes in this Clinton soap is uh, the top notes are citrus and verbena, mid notes are jasmine and thyme, and there's a hint of leather at the bottom, it says. And the ingredients of the soap, you can see, if you want to pause there, it's, it's all around the tub there. So, and it whips up really, really good. There's the, there's the lather, and while I'm at it, I'll show you the brush. This is a Taylor of Old Bond Street brush that I bought when I went to England last fall. I bought it at a Taylor of Old Bond Street store. I was happy to get to go to that. And um, it was a badger knot, but it, it just had too much what I call flop in it, not enough backbone. So I put a uh, Frank shaving badger brush, badger knot in here and uh, man, it worked out great. So that's what I'll be using for a brush. Now to the razor. This is the interesting part for today's shave. This is a timeless titanium razor, 0 0.68. And you'll notice the head on this is green. And there's a reason for that. I found this online from an individual. And what happened, to make a long story short, there was an attempt made to anodize this this uh, razor, and it failed. But it left the top cap green. So I, I call this my ugly duckling razor. <laughs> I've never used it. Today's my first use, but I think it turned out to be an attractive looking little razor. Um, when I got it, it had a stainless steel handle on it, and I had a titanium handle laying around. So I put that on there. So I have I have a pretty expensive timeless razor here now for a, a pretty good price that I got it for because of the because of the green top cap, which I don't mind at all. Um, now, on the same site, someone had two of these handles that were this color. Well, one of them was basically this color, and one of them was a little different. I tried to get one of those handles but they got sold before I got one so but that's what we'll be using today for the for the razor it'd be interesting and uh, got a perma sharp blade in there on its first use so I think I'm ready to go here wet my face just a little bit and this lather has been kind of sitting here so I'm going to stir it up just a little got a good lather it really is Um, these strike gold shave soaps are really nice soaps. They're, uh, they're tallow based. I'll read the ingredients in case you didn't see them there. A stearic acid, tallow, goat milk, water, shea butter, cocum butter, potassium hydroxides, sodium hydroxide, fragrance, castor oil, glycerin, and tussa silk. So, they are really nice soaps. I, like I said, I have a couple more of them. I like this scent. Now it's it now, on the scent uh, scale. My golly, you can smell this one. Sure can. So I think it's going to do it. And we're going to get ready to shave with the ugly duckling. That's my name for it. My old ugly, ugly, ugly duckling 
razor, it's hard to say. So here we go with the shave. Let's see how this does. Does nice, very nice. Um, very smooth. Now the only other .68 razor that I've ever had was the Game Changer, fine razor. But this one has a little more blade feel. I went to the Timeless website and it said that this razor has doesn't have any positive blade exposure, but I don't know about that. I think it might have a little. It's a light razor. Of course, it's titanium. The razor head with the handle and all weighs 2.3 ounces. You know what? I'm glad I bought this. I like this razor. I really do. It's the only the second timeless I've ever had. I bought, well, it's been, I don't know, two or three years ago now, but I bought the timeless aluminum once. And it did have positive blade exposure, and it just had too much for me. I, I didn't like the feel of that razor at all, so I sold it to a friend of mine, and he loved it. So that's that's what this hobby is all about, is getting the right things in the right hands. Now, I can take positive exposure if it's if it's not too much, but that that aluminum just didn't set well with me. And I hated that because man, their aluminum razor. If you haven't ever seen it, look it up. It's beautiful. But so is old Ugly Duckling, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty. I guarantee it's unique. Well, I tell you, I love these perma sharp blades. I don't know if you've been following me or not, but the the last one I used, I got ten shaves out of it. Ten good shaves. And I could have gotten more, but and it didn't feel tuggy or anything. But when I got when I got through shaving with the tenth shave, I noticed it wasn't quite as close as it had been. So I finally retired it, and I'm starting over with this one.
Now this razor does have a little overhang on the on the blade, but it's not anything uh, terrible. Man, it gets up under the nose good. That is one of the things I that I look for in a razor is if, if how well it gets up under the nose. This one does a good job. I told you I had had the um, game changer um, point six eight. Now this razor, I have to say, it's more efficient than the Game Changer 6.8. But as I said, it has a little more blade feel, so that's probably the reason. Now, I don't have my 0.68 anymore, Game Changer. I, I have the 0 0.84, which I really like. And I've been trying different razors here lately. I, I got stuck on my Yates 921, which I love, still love, But I decided to start branching out and using a few more just to see. I'm gonna put a little water on my face. I, my lather kind of sit there and got a little sticky on me. So here we go with the second pass. Here's it. Now, even though this razor is light, no pressure is needed. I'm not using any pressure. This is the first titanium razor I've ever had, ever used. You know what? I like it. They're just usually so darn expensive that I've never bought one. So, by virtue of this one turning out as an ugly duckling, I got a good price on it. Shirt there. Hey, my channel's doing good, and I appreciate that. Appreciate all of you subscribing. I got my uh, 2023 report from YouTube this morning, showing my analytics. I picked up over a hundred subscribers during the year. I think I'm at 898 right now. I want to get to a thousand. I don't know why, but it's due. I think I've told you all a hundred times. I don't monetize on YouTube. I don't. I don't even understand how to do it. Um, and I don't think it does you any good until you get way, way, way up there in subscribers. Like the hundreds of thousands. Of them. Some people have over a million. I don't imagine I'll ever make that milestone. I'm not sure I want to. I, I'd spend all my time responding to comments because I like to, if somebody comments on my video, I like to respond if it's, if it's nothing more than a thank you for watching or something like that. 
you know, if they got time to watch and comment, I can find time to respond. So if I had a million subscribers, I don't think I could keep up. Okay. Man, I love it when a when a plan comes together. When I run up on something like this ugly duckling and it I wind up liking it. Man, I really like this. The aggression is just perfect for me. I don't like a really uh, aggressive razor. Y'all know that if you've been watching me. But I don't like a overly mild razor either. And this one's just right. And my Yates is just right, and my 0 0.84 game changer is just right for me. Speaking of game changer, uh, Razor Rock has come out now with a 1.05 uh, plate, which is a little more than the 8.4. And I have watched a couple of guys use it. And their comment is they can't tell a whole lot of difference. One guy's uh, suggestion was if you're going to get a more aggressive plate than the 0.84 with Razor Rock Game Changer, just go ahead and get the open comb, uh, the 8.4 open comb. Instead of the 1.05. But I think I'm just going to stick with what I've got. The, the uh, standard comb, straight bar, 8.4, because I really like it. I tell you what, guys. Some people may not like the looks of this thing. <laughs> this is a this is a fine piece of shaving gear. Love that thing. I'm glad I found it when I did. I, it hadn't been listed very long when I found it. And uh, you can uh, you know, get some alum on my face. You get on those buy sell trade sites, and find something you like, and you can lose it pretty quick if you don't hurry. Man, that was a good shave. Good job, ugly duckling. That feels real good. Now I'm gonna wash out my brush a little. Still have lots of lather left in it. I'll tell you, I said this, I think the last time, or maybe it was a couple of videos ago, I don't know, I lose track, but um, if you've never tried a Frank Shaving Badger Knot, 
you're missing out because they have really nice knots at really good prices. That's what it looks like there. And you can see the Taylor of Old Bond Street. Now, when I got it, it was it was a pure badger, they called it. And I don't know, it was just, it wasn't dense enough. It had no backbone, hardly at all. And I should have noticed that when I, when I bought it, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so that's the shave. Now we're going for the Clinton aftershave. Shake it up here a little bit. Now I have mentholated this one, which I do just nearly all of mine. You can see my M there. That tells me that I've mentholated it because I like menthol. You may not. Some people don't. Some people hate menthol. And others are menthol heads like I am. It's a nice scent. I like that scent. Oh, oh, Willie did good on that. He probably doesn't. Even, he probably doesn't even know there's a. Well, he may have to know his pictures on here. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But anyway, we're going to recap. I'll show you the. This is not a hard soap. It's not a soft soap. It's just a good soap. And uh, that's the soap we used today. This is the aftershave we used. And by the way, I whipped it up this morning in my teakwood bowl. I love this bowl. I've got several bowls. But I really like that one. Um, and then we used the Allen Block. And I'm about to put on some of my... Whoops, picked up the wrong jar. Picked up the soap again. About to put on some of my Vino to end things. Got soap in my nose. need to shave inside my nose do I so hey that's going to do it for today guys and gals listen if you haven't subscribed please subscribe let's get to a thousand subscribers this year I, I would really like that uh, and down below use my link to the razor company um, it, there's instructions in there you type Randy Shaves in the coupon box and uh, it helps my channel out and I've had a few of those here lately, so I appreciate that. Um, anytime you need any shaving gear, go to Razor Company first. They they have a lot. They don't have everything. I mean, it's impossible for one store to have every scent of every brand, but they have a bunch of stuff. And uh, so go there and look around, and if you find something, put it in your cart and put Randy Shaves in that coupon box, and it helps me. I appreciate that. So, I guess that's going to do it. Uh, I'm going to let you look one more time here at the razor. There it is. And I'll show you. Let me show you the inside of it. It's probably all scummy now, right now. But that's what the base plate looks like. And then that's what the top cap looks like on the inside. Just like most other razors. You just set it in there. Screw the handle on, and you're ready to shave. Made a good purchase on this. I love it. I'm glad I do. But that's it for today. And I hope you have happy shaves. I hope you have a great rest of the week. And I'll talk to you guys the next time. And hey, I'll probably, I may do a Randy on the porch here pretty soon. But it may be in the house because it's cold outside. <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys the next time. Adios.